Hydraulic uh, hoses are pretty tough. They've got a, generally a very anti-abrasion um, rubber coating on it. That will take quite a lot of beating, quite a lot of abrasion, uh, quite a lot of rubbing up against other hoses before they will actually start to wear. Uh, there is a product though that is available that will protect the hose even more from abrasion, from mechanical hits and knocks, you know, from gravel and rocks and bits of wood in uh, earth moving, tree lopping applications. And this, this is actually called, we call it spiral safety card. Some people call it pig's tail. It's a um, high density polyethylene. It's actually extruded as a pipe and then it's actually cut into the spiral after it's extruded while it's still warm to create this very flexible, springy um, product. Uh, generally, it comes in black, but it's also available in red, yellow and blue. Um, special order, green. Um, and comes in many sizes, but generally it's it's designed to suit a small range of hose diameters. So this product is actually called is, is size 25, but 25 is fits perfectly over a 22 millimeter diameter hose. Uh, 22 millimeters is standard half inch SA 100 R2 two wire. So as you can see. The product is actually longer than required, but when you actually wrap it, you actually lose length. So as a rule, whatever the length is between the two shells, you multiply this length by about 1.2 and that will leave you a small margin of error. Usually it's just a little bit longer. Um, in this case, we've had this, hose, we've had this wrap on this hose already, so it should fit quite perfectly. Uh, application, uh, always start a few inches back, you know, about a hundred millimeters back from the hose. If it's a very long hose, it's always best to try and start in the middle. So if, for example, you've got a, a one meter long hose, cut yourself 1.2 meters of product. If you've got a two meter long hose, cut yourself 2.4 meters of product. The longer it is, the more unwieldy it gets. And eventually when it's too long, usually it involves two people, sometimes three people and or a machine to help you wrap this hose. But it will extend the life of the hose dramatically and it also makes the hose a lot slipperier as well. So uh, good when it's rubbing up against another hose, it's also covered. If you're pulling this hose through a machine, um, pulling rubber hoses through a machine sometimes is a pain. But once they're covered in this, it makes the hose a lot slipperier and actually a lot easier to pull the hose through. That's what I've found anyway, in my experience. It makes the hose a little bigger in diameter. And in some cases that could be a detriment, especially if you've got multiple hoses going through uh, a small hole, you may have to enlarge the hole and also protect the hole from chafing. So uh, applying this product, you basically need to unwind it to, and then wind it on. And because it's like a spring, you can un... If you wind it in the opposite direction, it actually opens it up and makes it bigger and then you can actually move it down or move it up. So you can adjust it. Short hoses are easy because you could actually do this. But if you had a really long hose, you couldn't actually get your, wrap your arm around. So you've actually got to physically manhandle this product around and around and around. Saves the hose, hurts your wrists. Because you know, as you can see, I've got super big wrists. So. That's it on the hose. Still lets the hose bend and flex, but it gives it that abrasive protection. On really sharp edges though, it will catch. 
all right? But if you've got sharp edges, you shouldn't do something about them. Anyway, so that's uh, spiral safety guard, um, hose protection, uh, high density polyethylene, available in many sizes, and red, black, blue, and yellow. That's all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, like, um, send us some comments. We'll see you on the next fun video. More great stuff to come.